Hello, welcome back to Vendor Sushi Live Learning. In this episode, I will be creating something pretty random using Vendor 2.93 and 2.92. So random, like um, I will be using Geometry Nodes and Stretch of Nodes. So currently we have default cube and I will switch to Geometry Nodes and I'll start making something random. So first of all, we need some kind of point to distribute. So I create points and I'm generating random points. I can randomize the seed. Okay, that's pretty cool, but you can see the, the points is just hanging there on the surface. So I need to add further random. So I plug in attribute randomize. I'll use vector. Um, you can replace, recreate, or yeah, or you can add into it. So this one is actually I believe simply uh, replacing the points so this one is even a little bit more random but you can also use add so you probably yeah I think this is okay so file save as oops okay stinking so while it's uh, Doing the thinking, we can switch to stretch of nodes. I will also create something random here. Stretch of nodes blender 2.92. Create random vector. Let's create like 30 or something. Okay, this one I can save. So this one is uh, random points. So this one with stretch of I can also create random point of course so this is the different this one is actually generating a spherical which is nice and uh, you can just randomize and randomize the points so those two are actually pretty much exactly the same with spread chalk you can however create something like convex hull and you're gonna have this kind of thing. Uh, you have like a stone, and if <coughs> if you are randomizing the seed, you're gonna have a different result, which is a uh, pretty interesting and nice in itself. So if you um, let's say let's save this also. I'm gonna save this as stone generator random stone oh this one is also thinking a lot um i'm using mac os beta that's why it's a bit slow somehow but okay this one is random i can randomize the seed to add some kind of more interesting result i can actually point to volume <clears throat> and volume to mesh I thought this, this is also kind of nice. It's pretty powerful. Let's adjust the threshold. Density, okay, maybe less density. Now we get something that's looking a little bit like cheese. I prefer something like this. So this one I can save as well somehow the finder is a bit slow today, unbelievable. I will plug in a little bit of Python, just frame to randomize the seed. So it's now kind of animating. If you ever want to make the seed slower, you can do something like this. So for every five frames change the shape so this is nice okay random stones so 
So I save this blend file. I want to make a bit of variations. I'll create range number integer. I will have 10. Plug this into the seed. So we have 10 objects. I will, however, save this into collections. Save it as save it as stones. Specify stones here. And I might also want to do a bit of shading here. I want to randomize the the color of each stones, for example. So this is also part of the randomness. Q saturations. Okay. I can randomize the hue or the value. Let's try this very quickly. Okay. So I get a result. Stones. Okay. Plug in the shader. Plug the random into Q. Reduce the saturations. Yeah, I think this is all right. I save the blend. I can randomize the scale, etc. Now I have this going on. Some kind of cloud. Let's do instancing. Point instancing using collections. Turn off whole collections. Now I will append or link instead. Link this into the other blend files. Random stones, collection, stones. Okay, I'm linking this guy into this guy. Okay, we have stones here. And now we can simply specify link stone. So at any point in time, you can always reset or in, uh, in the blender you can go to blend, fi blend file here and link file you can always reload or refresh okay okay now we have this uh, we can do a point scale aha uh -huh, okay it's complaining we don't have attribute Okay, okay. Um, point fill. Okay, fill attribute. So I'm scaling our points. Now we have this. Cool. All right, so now we can also further randomize this thing. So attribute randomize. You can start randomizing the rotations or the scale. This one should randomize the rotations. And now let's randomize the scale. Maybe just a little bit. So now it's a little bit more interesting. Um, so each stone is something that's also random completely generated and we can give them an occlusion see and you can start rendering this I wonder if I can do something here transform so I can scale the default cube over here and I can randomize this a lot <clears throat> now we have we are actually like recreating 
something in space. Put in frame number. Points to volume and density. Okay, that's also kind of important. Okay, so yeah, I think that's uh, actually pretty much pretty, mu pretty much it's what I want to show you today. Random scale, random positions, point instancing of objects from random from Spreadshop from Blender 2.92. So I'm actually here, I'm adding another randomizations to the points. Now we, we see, you can see all these points all over the place. The cool thing, of course, you can always go back to Spreadshop. So you have random, convex hull, etc. You can have a torus. Randomize the torus using seed, different seed so you can do something like this so maybe like a A torus with different shapes, different scale, and slightly randomize. And I save this, go back here, right click, reload. Now we have random donuts in space. Okay, so that's basically the whole idea some kind of randomness in space all right so if you come back to this okay the don't forget the shader is also nodes and here i'm doing um let's try make it more colorful metallic roughness save reload the material will read the new materials and we have random colorized donuts okay cool all right so hopefully you find this interesting let me know what to think and i'll see you next time thank you bye